Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to debloat or remove the bloatwares from the HyperOS ROM. So as you could see, currently I'm running the latest Xiaomi HyperOS ROM on my Poco phone and it goes without saying that Xiaomi is famous for numerous pre-installed apps. As you could see in my case as well, there are quite a few pre-installed apps that came along with the phones and fortunately there are, are a few apps such as Tile Fun, Snake Zone, IO, these apps, although they came pre-installed on, on my phone, but I could easily re remove these apps from my phone. For instance, just long press the app, tap on the uninstall icon and hit uninstall. Unfortunately, that is not the case with all the pre-installed app. There exist quite a few Google apps that came pre-installed on my phone, but I don't want to use those apps. For instance, one is the Google TV app. I hardly use that app, but I cannot remove this app from my phone. Likewise, instead of Google Meets, I want to use, let's say Microsoft Teams. Still, I cannot remove the Meet app as well. Apart from that, instead of YouTube Music, I want to use Spotify, but I cannot remove the YouTube Music app from my phone as well. Likewise, the File Manager app is quite basic one. I want to re remove the File Manager app, but I cannot uninstall the app as well. So there are quite a few apps pre-installed that you cannot re remove from your phone. However, there exists a nifty workaround which involves using the adb command using which you could easily remove all these apps from your phone and in this video i'll show you how to do just that so let's get started first and foremost get hold of android sdk platform tools so get it from my guide and extract them onto your pc you could extract them anywhere you want in my case i've done the extraction in c drive and as you could see these are the files of platform tools once you've done the extraction your next course of action is to enable usb debugging this is required for adb commands so go to the settings menu, go to about, about phone, then go to OS version and tap on OS version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back and go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Check mark, I'm aware of all the risk. Then tap on OK after waiting for 10 seconds. And with this, the debugging it should be enabled. If you're doing this for the first time, you might get an RCD prompt as well. In that case, also tap on OK. So let's now verify the debugging connection. For that, go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move ahead with the next step. So now you'll have to verify the debugging connection which we have already done. And after that, you'll have to open the shell connection. For that, type in ADB shell and your phone code name or your phone should now be listed here. In my case, I'm using a POCO F5 whose code name is Marble and N is the country region, make sure you're also getting the dollar sign next to your phone code name or your phone name. Once that is done, let's now proceed ahead. And now comes the most important part. You will now have to get hold of the app package name. In this regard, I made a separate video on the guide and the guide on the same. But still, let me show you. There exists two methods. First off is using the CMD method. And the second one is using the app. So first off, if we talk about the CMD method, then the first command is pm list packages. This will list out all the apps installed on your phone. And it might be co quite complicated to deal with. As you could see, there are quite a few apps and you might not be able to get hold of the required apps. If you might, then well and good, but it might be a few issues as well. For instance, this is the YouTube app, as you could see from here, but making a note of all these apps will take up ages. The next method is simply use this command and add the dash s parameter. This will only list those apps which are the system app. In other words, all the bloatware apps on your phone. And as you could see, this is the list of all the bloatware apps which came pre-installed onto your phone. Apart from that, you may also sort the app and only list the apps which came from Google. For that, just add the Google keyword after PM list packages. So in this case, just add this command and hit enter. And you will now only get those apps which are from Google. Th this will also include the Android system app. So keep this point in mind as well. Or if this CMD method is proving to be quite complicated, then let's move ahead with the a simpler method. In that case, you may make use of a third party app such as the app package viewer name, 
so let me show you that app should be somewhat here itself so launch the package name apps from here and as you could see it will list out all the app packages name just beneath the name of the app the first one is for the user apps and the next tab is for the system apps and for instance let's uninstall if you want to uninstall the youtube music app then search for the youtube music and select the same and as you could see we will now get the app package name tap on it and then tap on copy it's showing two packages but we only want the first one if a package name consists the activities then it's for the launcher and if we don't want that we only want the first one so just tap on copy now and let's paste it somewhere so there might be a notes app here so let's paste it in the notes app for the time being and let me show you that so as of now you could see we have the two name the second one is for the launcher we don't need this we only need the package name which is com and com google android apps youtube music so this is the package name which we required so you may use the third party app as i have shown the package viewer app to get this job done or if you don't want to use any third party app then the second way of getting this job done is by long pressing on the app then go to app info and tap on the overflow icon and select app info and now you will get the app apk name as you could see from here it's the com google android apps youtube music you may also get hold of the app package name from here and long press on it to copy it and then you may transfer it onto your pc the third method of getting this job done is via the play store so let me show you that method as well so first off let's launch the play store and search for an app so for instance let's search for the youtube music app itself and hit enter and uh, this is the youtube music app so the section after the id equals to will be the app package name in my case as you could see th th this is the app package name so whatever comes after the equals to sign will be the app package name let's try and open any other app such as instagram lite so in this case you could see the com.instagram.lite is the app package name so whatever app you will open in the url everything after the equals to sign will be the app package name and in this case it's a com the true color so you may also copy the app package name from here so either use the play store or use the third party app such as the app package viewer or you may simply go to the app info page and from here tap on the overflow icon and select app info and get hold of the app package name from here any of these three command will work or you may simply use these adb commands as well but then you will have to match the exact corresponding app package name as well but regards to the app which is installed onto your phone so it might prove to be a little bit difficult it's easier to get hold of the app package name from the phone itself and once you have got the app package name simply transfer it onto your pc so once we have got the app package name let's say in our case let's try and uninstall the youtube music app so let me show you as of now you could see the app is right here in the app drawer and now i will remove this app from my phone so regarding this there exist two methods the first command will remove the app and will also remove all its data on the other hand if you want to save the data and only want to remove the app then you will have to use this command the only difference in both this command is the dash k parameter the dash k parameter will save the data of the app but will remove the app from your phone on the other hand the first command will remove the data as well apart from removing the app so as of now i'll use the first command so make sure to re remove the package name example with the app package name for that let's copy this syntax somewhere let's say in the notepad let's copy it here and in my case the app package name is com android com google android apps youtube music so replace the package name example with the app package name and with this we have got the command so simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window so keep a note of this as soon as i copy the command from here and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter keep a note the app will now be disappeared from my phone as you could see the app has now been gone and we have got a success message in the cmd window as well along the same lines let's try and remove one more app so this time around let me remove the google tv app from my phone so let's search for the google tv app here this is the most easiest way of getting the job done let's search for google tv select the from here and this is the app package name com google android videos so this time around our command will be as follows let's copy the package name from here 
so let me copy it and paste it here in the app package name again simply copy this command and now paste it in the cmd window as you could see this is the google tv app it will now be removed from my phone as soon as i paste the command here and hit enter the app has now been gone from our phone and it has been removed for good so you don't have to use the adb shell keyword after every command just use the adb shell once in the beginning and after that you must simply use this command syntax to get this job done just remove the app package name as per your need last but not the least if you want to get back the removed app then that's quite easy to do so as well so you just have to use this command and in case of package name example just remove this with the app package name so let me show you how to bring back the removed app from our phone so first off let's bring back the youtube music app so in this case let's remove the package name example with the com android app youtube music and paste it here so this is the command copy this command and paste it in the cmd window and keep a note on our phone the app should now be back so let's hit enter and you could see the app package has now been installed for user zero which is the system or main user and we have got the app onto our phone let me launch it and show you as well as you could see it's working likewise let's now bring back the second app which is the google tv app so copy this app package name and let's replace it here and keep a note over here it will be just next to the google one so let me now copy this command and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter and again we have got the google tv app as well onto our phone so guys on that note i round off this video i will also link this guide and you could get hold of all these commands from here if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching